That was weird. What was that? Strange. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Synoptics. So, for this episode, our topic is going to be about... So before we start, though, what is a conspiracy theory? Let's talk about that. Ooh, well, I'll give you an example of a juicy one I heard earlier. Yeah. Um, There's this one uh, proposed by a gentleman called David Icke. Wrote a book about uh, called "The World's Biggest Secret," basically exposing a reptilian race on our planet. A reptilian race on planet Earth. On planet Earth. Wow. And yeah. what else about this? Well, these reptilians are shape shifting which means they have a hologram, humanoid, that's what we see when we see them. But inside they are reptiles with an agenda. And uh, according to the book, they have uh, power positions in our government and are in charge of major decisions of what happens to mankind. Wow, no, that's pretty interesting. But that's a pretty big claim to be making, right? This David guy? David, yeah, it's, it's a pretty outrageous claim when you hear about it. But when you read about it, it's uh, you can see where he's going. You can see where he's going with his information. Something to look up. Um, Definitely. You know. No, I think I will. <laughs> it's interesting. So that's one of those conspiracy theories where uh, there's a lot of information about. There is. And so that's what we thought about this one conspiracy theory. Let's take a look at what other students thought about other ones. Check this out. The only real conspiracy theories I've heard about are like the Illuminati and the the hollow moon theory, I heard about that on the History Channel, where like, <laughs> it's kind of weird, but like, it's that the moon is hollow, basically, because apparently when they landed on the moon, it like, it made a sound that you wouldn't think it would make, like it made it like a ringing sound like a bell would make, and so they think that it's hollow and that there's like a spaceship in there. I don't personally believe in that. <laughs> I just thought it was interesting. Oh, I mean, UFOs, uh, government covering that up, uh, um, JFK, that type of stuff. Uh, um, someone, that's it. That's it. What's, uh, which one do you think is the craziest? Or the most, uh, if it was real, the most impactful for people, if it was true? Oh, uh, the alien one. People seem to think that aliens are real. And stuff. Any of these conspiracy like theories would ever come out to be true, or I mean, would seen, be declassified and like validated I, at some I, point? I, I think so. I think somewhere down the line, you know, we see. Uh, what was it? Just last year, or the year before, we uh, we witnessed some declassification of documents dating from the '60s that showed the government was working on an actual alien spacecraft. Right. That those came out. So, I mean. There was the Area 51. That was Area 51 one, and you know the, the the most recent one, and the one I always go back to now that is like has to be the mind of everyone is the Edward Snowden and NSA leaks. You know, for years all the conspiracy theorists would say the government's watching us, listening to everything we're saying. What did we find out two years ago? It's exactly what was going on to the TV and more. A uh, conspiracy theory that I've heard of and believe is that chapstick is made in a circular form so that it rolls away and so yeah, you have to end up buying more because you always lose. That's the only conspiracy theory that I have to really There you have it. My point of view is, uh, is there is something behind everything that you, you are doing, that you're thinking, and if you name it like a conspiracy, well, okay, there is a conspiracy behind everything. Uh, somebody trying to do something against you, or uh, in, in favor of you or something. That's my opinion. That's it for today, everyone. Join us next week where we dive into the world of music. <laughs>